Woods. Currently, there are over 5,000 council properties in Winchester, but following the new government policy, a Hampshire housing group says new tenants in the city could suffer following the government shakeup. The Liberal Democrat-run city council needs to plug a £2 million shortfall in its funding in each of the next three years. This will mean a 20% cut in the council's wage budget during the same period. And potentially, as a result, up to 15 job positions could be lost before Christmas. England batsman Kevin Peterson is doing his bit for the people hit by the Brisbane floods. He's trying to raise money online by auctioning a shirt and one of his bats. So I've kindly been joined now by Tim Cutter, the branch secretary for Hamza Unison. Uh, so Tim. Welcome to this Sky News update. I'm Stuart Appleby. Six people, including a nine-year-old girl, have died and a US politician is fighting for her life after a gunman went berserk at an American political rally. The brother of murder, Joanna Yates, says he's been left in a hole of despair since her death. Conservative parliamentary candidate Steve Bryan is Winchester's new member of parliament. Bryan prevailed over Liberal Democrat Martin Todd by a margin of over 3,000 votes in what was a hard-fought but close campaign lasting almost two years. I attended a cabinet meeting. I quiz. Council leader Kelsey Lerner herself over the reduction in post. A statement from the University of Winchester said the university are currently considering their position on tuition fees, but they will not have to make a decision on what to charge until next summer. I'm joined by Steve Brazier, Head of Health for Unison South East. Uh, so Steve, uh, tell me a bit about today. Pressure from the petition itself could force Liberal Democrat members of Parliament to oppose a government plan, this going against the agreed coalition tuition fee deal. The final vote is due to take place before the end of the year in what could be one of the most significant decisions for the future of higher education funding in the UK.